You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Murray Kidd, who is the director of music over at Christ Congregational Church. Welcome, Murray. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You have a wonderful church, beautiful church, great acoustics. We do some of the Jubilati concerts there, the symphony concerts there, and some of the pipe organ concerts there. Mm -hmm. But you got a whole new arts concert series going on with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different dates. Yes. Tell us what, what's in store for people in Brockton and the Brockton area. Well, we have a real wide range, uh, array of music uh, and, and acts this year. We start on October 15th with Ella, which is a performance created by uh, acclaimed Berkeley professor Patrice Williamson. And she put together a really exciting show all about uh, and reminiscent of Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. So it's very exciting. She's one of the best performers, one of the best jazz performers in the area. She's really just top notch. On November 19th, we have uh, a show that is for our veterans, actually. It's called For Thee We Sing, a musical tribute to our veterans. And it's put on by Ensemble Lyrae. And they are a group of four sopranos and a pianist, and they're going to be performing at one o'clock. These all our shows are at one o'clock on Sundays. Mm -hmm. and they're going to be performing a, a performance with uh, music ranging from classical to jazz to lots of other styles. And it's all music geared towards veterans. And so it's going to be a really special afternoon. And it's also going to be after our Thanksgiving meal at the, at the, at the church there. Oh, nice. So we're very excited about that. And then on December 17th, we have our annual Christmas concert and pageant, which again is at one o'clock. And there might be uh, a visitor, a visit from Santa, which uh, again is uh, really a, a very popular with, with our families. And anybody is welcome. The concerts uh, are free. We do ask for a small donation for people who, who come out for these events uh, just to help us cover the costs of our, of our acts. Wow, yeah. free is good. Yes. Free is good. And um, like I said, beautiful acoustics there. I, I, I think this is very interesting. Tribute to Ella Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. salute to the veterans, and of course, holiday music. And there's a lot of holiday music that happens over at the church. Yes. I, we're going we're gonna to bring you back because there's, there's one, two, three, four events throughout the rest of the year. There's something every month. Pretty yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. You get January, February, March, and May. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you're the music director. You've been there fourth year, you said. Yes. Okay. So have, has this been done before? The concert series has been in existence for quite some time, uh, but it, it's uh, not something that we've promoted very well, uh, or at least very actively. But we're starting to try and branch out, get some more people to come to our concerts and building a little bit bigger profile. So is there a group and a committee at the church? Churches have all sorts of boards of directors and church committees and stuff like that. Do you have like a music arts committee? Yes, we do. That puts this together, volunteers yes. from the church? Volunteers from the church, members of the church, and myself. Nice, yes. nice. So free, that's amazing because I'm sure there's costs that go along with this. There so. are, yes. We do ask for a small donation of around $10 if people can afford it. But if they can't afford it, we'd rather them come and enjoy the concert for free. Uh, and give what they can. And if they can't give anything, that's okay. We'd rather they come and enjoy themselves. I think I've gone to stuff over there before too, and sometimes the price of admission, you might be doing a food drive and give some canned goods. Sometimes. To help other people. Yes. I've been there for that. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you enjoy your job. Yes, very much. Okay. Yes. And you have a second job outside of this. You are the Choral director, did I get it right? Yes. For Oliver Ames High School? Oliver Ames High School, yes. Right over in Easton, next right. door, you know, you step away from the church and you're in Easton. That's right. Okay, yes. beautiful acoustics over there. Mm -hmm. um, and do, do, does this end up getting to be like sometimes some of the students from Oliver Ames might even come over to the church and participate in any of these? Well, it's possible, but I've only been at Oliver Ames for about a week now. Oh, okay. So that's still something that might happen. Uh, the building is very close to Oliver Ames, so so it might be a situation where we may, Oliver Ames is very busy, so we might need a place to rehearse once in a while, and the church is right there, so it might be something like that. But uh, Oliver Ames is very busy, like I said, and, and they're very active artistically, so they might participate in one of these events. Is there a website and a phone number for the church to get more information? I'm sure this is all probably posted on the church website. I know you guys do a great bulletin. 
Yes. Our website is brocktonucc.org. Mm -hmm. And you can find information about our music program and other information about our church there. And there will be, uh, there will be a PDF uh, underneath the music button uh, listing all of our concerts. There you go. And the phone and number? Phone number is 508-586-3022. Okay. And it's, it's right on Pleasant. You're right on Pleasant. You're mm -hmm. over to the people that are longtime Brocktonians know. Sumner Street West, right. which goes over the Stoughton side, mm -hmm. um, and we got the conservation land right behind the church. I actually mm -hmm. live in the neighborhood, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Okay, wanted that house that just got renovated two doors down from the church. I've oh, been watching yeah, yeah. that house for years, and they're doing a beautiful <laughs> job. But I'm, you know, I'm fine where I am. Sure, I'm, I, I like this, uh, this this part of town. Yeah. So. Um, Tell us a little bit, I'm just curious about your background. What, what, where did you go to school at, for all your training? Well, I'm originally from California mm -hmm. and came to Boston uh, to do my graduate studies at New England Conservatory in Boston. And met my wife there, we settled. I started getting some work as a professional singer. And I was a professional singer for about 15 years. Traveled the world singing as a tenor in professional choruses and uh, was featured, uh, well not featured, but I was involved in uh, about 11 internationally released uh, recordings in, of choral literature and slowly started conducting and found my way into the public schools and uh, taught for a little bit at UMass Lowell as well. Oh nice, excellent and, program. Yeah. Yes, yes, and I came to the South Shore to teach in Middleborough until recently and then just recently got hired at Oliver Ames. Well we're glad you're here. We're yes. glad these opportunities are here for people to go. What do I have for time? I have three. Okay, so let's, you know what, I'm going to do what I said we weren't going to do. Do okay. it anyway. Let's talk about the January, the rest of the year. We're going to have you back because sometimes mm -hmm. people's attention span, if I put this on now, I'm not going to run it 152 times. Probably sure. 50 maybe. Uh -huh. um, tell yeah. us about the after the first of the year events that you have coming up. This okay, month. yes. After the, after the new year, uh, we have a, an exciting concert by uh, the Berry Collective. And the Berry Collective, spelled B-E-R-R-Y, is led by our resident organist, Sylvia Berry. Okay. And she is a, an expert on classical music. She went to school for it at Oberlin uh, Conservatory. She's traveled. Uh, she also studied in uh, Amsterdam. And she is one of the top authorities on classical music, and is in specific, music for the forte piano, which precedes the, the piano as we know it. Okay. And so she has a group of people that are going to be coming and joining her in some classical music and on period instruments. So music as the composer heard it from Mozart's time. Nice. It's going to be a very, very interesting concert. And she always puts on a, puts on a real passionate event. In February, uh, in this, on the 6th of February, we're going to be having a youth event uh, for the arts. It's to be determined at this point. Um, so we're not quite sure. We're, we're talking to a couple of different organizations. And then, Go ahead. and then in March, uh, well, yours truly is going to be featured as the performer. Oh, okay. So I'll be doing a concert uh, of some lighthearted music, Broadway, jazz, uh, maybe a little bit of um, romantic songs. I'm not quite sure exactly how far it'll go, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, it'll be with guitar and piano and maybe some drums as well. Nice. And then we have our annual talent show in May. Uh, on May 6th. And like I said, all of our concerts happen at one o'clock and uh, they're right there at the church. Go to church and then go to the concert. Yeah, right? Sure, yes. There you go. <laughs> Even if you're not a member of the church, you're, I know you guys are always very open and very welcoming to people. We'd love to have people, yes, that's for sure. So just to recap, um, the Christ Congregational Church Arts Concert Series mm -hmm. um, have happening on various Sundays starting October 15th, going all the way through May 6th different yes. dates. The info on the website is music at Brockton... BrocktonUCC.org. There we go. Okay. Yes. And then the phone number is 508-588-3022. Mari, I'm looking forward to it. I live around the corner. I have no excuse, so I'm going to have to come and at least see you sing. That's great. We'd love to have you. Thank you. And we're yes. always here to promote and help anything with the church. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. My pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.